Tennessee Titans head coach Ken Wisenhunt, who joins me now here on the Rich Eisen Show. How are you, Coach? I am good, Rich. Good to be with you. Good to have you with me. Let's let's stroll down memory lane or down the azaleas. So you're from Augusta, so golf is in your blood. Would you say that? Well, a lot of people have said that. I don't know if it's necessarily in my blood, but it sure is an important part of uh, growing up. That's for sure. So when you grew up, at, at what point in your life is your first recollection of n knowing that you were in the hometown of one of the greatest golf tournaments uh, known to man, Coach? Well, you know what? I don't. I don't think that uh, that. Uh, Maybe I recognized it as the event that it was as a kid walking on the, going to the tournament. And, and just because, uh, I mean, that's what we knew. I mean, we knew it was a big event because it was, they always set it up so we had our spring break around the Masters because obviously a lot of families left, rented their houses out, or a lot of kids worked at the tournament. Mm -hmm. So, um, I mean, I remember vividly as a kid going to the tournament. I remember standing down the bottom of the hill and seeing a huge throng of people come over the hill and it was Arnie's army as it was called at that time or you know the group following Jack Nicholas so um, I have vivid memories of it but uh, obviously I don't know maybe from my recollection that I perceived it on the scale that it is today so uh, who was your your player growing up when you were growing up at watching the Masters strolling around the pine straw being in the neighborhood, who was the guy that you were rooting for more than most to slip on the green jacket, Coach Wisenhunt? You know, it changed during the years. I mean, I liked Jack. I like I like Mr. Nicholas. I like Mr. Palmer. If I'm <laughs> going to be Mr. Augusta Formal yes. on that uh, that talk, I, I had a a friend as I was growing up whose house Mr. Palmer would stay in during the Masters. So I knew that uh, you know I. I knew they thought highly of him. So, you know, just because he was a friend of mine, I always pulled for him. Did you meet but, him? Uh, did you get to, meet, get to meet Arnie? Arnold Palmer? I did. Actually, I did. One year we played uh, Coach LeBeau, and I played golf with he and his club champion over at La Trobe, which was right where we had the uh, Steeler camp, yeah. pretty close to that. So I, I had an opportunity to play golf with him, which was really special. That's incredible. So what about – how did you become a scoreboard operator at Augusta National? How did that happen? Well, he, our, our high school coach, I guess he, he knew somebody, and they were always looking, recruiting guys to do it. And I don't know if they liked the high school athletes doing it or, or maybe he just had the contacts, but he asked me would I like to do it. And, you know, I didn't, uh, certainly didn't appreciate it for what it was at that point. It was an opportunity to, to get paid and uh, <laughs> to go work. How much you got paid? But, you know, I don't even remember, to be honest with you. It probably, if I said it right now, you'd probably laugh. It's probably – Twenty dollars a day or something like that. Okay. You know, which, not to date myself, but at that time that was a pretty good <laughs> chunk of change for a young man that oh, didn't have course. much in his pocket. Sure. I'm with uh, Kevin Wisenhunt, the uh, Ken Wisenhunt, the coach of the Tennessee Titans, strolling down memory lane from Augusta, Georgia. So uh, I imagine you've you've gotten out there and played Augusta National. What's your best round at Augusta? Um, well, I lucked up and managed to shoot par one time. So. Um, that's that's my best round. I have great memories of that. I actually knocked it in the hole on two at number 11 for an eagle. So, um, you know, I had a couple of things there that bring strong memories of it. So it was uh, one of those lucky days. Lucky days. Come on now. So so you, you hole out on one of the amen corner holes is what you're saying right. to me right now. Yep. That actually happened. Fantastic. So I, got through, I got through amen corner and two under because I parred 12 and 13. So I was, uh, so what happened? I was pretty pleased. I was pretty pleased with myself. What happened down the down down the uh, down the stretch there? Um, well, I obviously had a couple of holes on the front side, so that brought me back. I, mm -hmm. I was up and down. I think I birdied 14 and bogeyed probably 15, and then uh, held on to my held on to my seat in my pants for, on 16, <laughs> a little par three. And, uh, <laughs> so I had a 10 foot par putt on 18, and it and I, you know, believe it or not, I rolled it in and. Uh, my caddy jumped up in the air excited, and I thought I'd just won the Masters. Oh, so it was fantastic. a lot of fun. That's great. Coach Ken Wisenhunt, head coach of the Tennessee Titans, joining me here uh, on the Rich Eisen Show. Let, let us turn to the matter at hand, which is uh, 23 days from now, you are going to cash in the number two overall pick in some manner, whether it's for your team or somebody else uh, using it because you've traded out. Have you received any phone calls for that pick as you and I are talking right now? No. Not really. I don't think, just in my experience in this in this league, that's not something that happens this far away, three and a half or three weeks and two days from the draft. So, uh, not yet. Okay. What do you think of the two quarterbacks that are at the top of this draft, Coach? 
Well, I think we still have a little bit more work to do with both of those young men, but uh, I like both of them and the limited time that I've spent with them. I've seen both of them work out, spent a little bit of time with them in, in the on the chalkboard going through some of their tape, and both of them were impressive. I think they have a good feel for the game. Um, both of them very intelligent, understand the process of playing that position. I think one of the things that I really like the most is you see them interact with their team, which is an important piece of it. And uh, you can tell that they they both have tremendous leadership skills because of the way their teammates gravitate towards them. So, um, you know, the process so far has been good. I've enjoyed it. So uh, I'm with Ken Wisenhunt, the head coach of the Tennessee Titans, joining me here on the Rich Eisen Show. The, the discussion with Jameis Winston is obviously off the field, as we all know. So my question for you is, have, have you done the, the – I'm sure you guys have done the work uh, on that front. Are you satisfied that that wouldn't be an issue should you get the chance to draft Jameis Winston in 23 days? Well, I mean, we're still in, in that process, Rich. He's coming into our place next week. So, um, you know, that's when we get a chance to really uh, finish our work in that area. So most of it's been geared right now towards the football part of it. And uh, that's still a process with us. So if it's a football part of it, when he walks through the door, you're going to swipe a broom at him, right? Because that's... <laughs> that... No, I don't think we'll swipe any brooms at him. But, you don't... Uh, no? No, I don't think so. Uh, you know, maybe we maybe we can get a couple of big defensive linemen to jump around and see how he handles that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, because that's what I'm thinking. If JJ Watt's not swinging a broom at him, right? I mean, that's that's that doesn't happen in the National Football League. No, I, I think JJ Watt's swinging a sledgehammer at him. So. <laughs> He's doing something. I know that. Yeah. So yeah. what do you what do you make of all these workouts? Then I mean, the pro days with the where where kids are now wearing shirts made up for the pro days. And, and quarterback coaches and speed camps and things of that nature. How do you see the forest from the trees when you make such a major decision like this, number two overall, Coach Wisenhunt? Well, first of all, Rich, that's on you guys now because you're the ones that are broadcasting this and televising it or and talking about it. So that's why these shirts are coming out and they have broomsticks where they're doing in these drills. Mm -hmm. So. You know, you gotta accept a little bit of accountability. Now, when you say you guys, what do you, you, what do you? I, I, I'm not making, I'm not printing any T-shirts up, Coach. I mean, hey, but you're sitting in that third broadcast chair over from Kurt Warner, and you're sitting there talking about these things. So, yeah, uh, yeah I was listening to you a little bit earlier, <laughs> and uh, um, so you know, yeah, I know. that's part of it. But okay. you know what? I tell you what. You, uh, fortunately for us, we've gotten a chance to get an extra work, get our own personal workout with these guys. And I think you can get something from anything that you see him do. Like one of the things that when you looked at James Winston do his drops, even though they were broomsticks flying all around him, he, uh, you know, he did a nice job with his feet and resetting them and getting them to his target line and making some of those throws. So those are things that you can see. I mean, it's always good to get some individual work on them so you can work on those specific things and get a feel for them. You know, it's, it's really hard in any of these type of drills to simulate what they're going to have to react to on the game field. And there's no substitute for watching them in the games because you see some things that, you know, you help you understand how they can play that position. But um, I think you can get something out of all of this. It's always, like I said just a minute ago, talking about seeing how they interact with their teammates on these pro days. That's a big thing because, once again, you know, the guys that play that position, when, when you have – 90 yards to go in a minute and 53 seconds. Those guys got to believe in you, and that's a that's a part of the evaluation too. Titans head coach Ken Wisenhunt joining me uh, here on the Rich Eisen Show in the last couple of minutes uh, that I have left. Us guys in the media, to use your vernacular, continuing. Uh, obviously, we're talking about Winston one, maybe Mariota two to you guys, or you do get a call to trade out. There's also some rumors that another uh, quarterback from your past on the West Coast, there might be a trade involved in some way, shape, or form. There's all sorts of rumors flying, all of which have the context that Zach Mettenberger isn't the Titans guy moving forward. Something that even you uh, have to, to maybe get your phone to ring for a deal of a lifetime that you weren't expecting, number two overall, make it seem like you're interested in these two young quarterbacks. Have you spoken to Mettenberger at all to talk about the noise that might be coming out of his television set, Coach? Yes. Yes, we have, Rich. We have uh, been very upfront with with him when, this, when the season ended. You know, we're limited in what we can do with them contact-wise. Uh, because of the CBA, but we've talked to Zach. I mean, uh, I've told him that, you know, he's got to worry about what he's doing, he's preparing, because 
remember last year now he he was coming off an ACL and he hadn't even had six months seven months to to rehab it so he's been working pretty hard at making sure he's in the right kind of shape this year and uh, uh, you know he's been working so he's aware of what's going on and and uh, you know he's in this he's in this process too there was a lot of positive things that we saw at Zach last year and uh, you know certainly you have to consider that as part of the equation as well. Coach, thanks very much for joining. Enjoy uh, watching the Masters. I'm sure uh, you'll be watching it. Being from Augusta, having shot par there, congrats on that, by the way, no matter how long ago that took place. Uh, enjoy watching the Masters this week. And we will. Do you have a prediction as to who might win the Masters, Coach? You know, I'm pulling for Snedeker this week. I think he's due. Okay. What? <laughs> Snedeker. <laughs> what, what, why do you think he's due? Just to. Just well, be- I like his game. I mean, he's a Nashville. Nashville guy, which I like, but mm-hmm. uh, you know I, I respect how he plays. I've watched him play, and uh, I think he's a good putter, drives the ball well, and um, you know I don't know what the weather conditions are going to be like down there, but maybe this is his year. Coach, thanks for taking the time to call in. We'll chat with you down the line, and uh, maybe uh, shortly before you get to Chicago or the or your representatives do. Thanks for calling in. Sure, Rich. Thanks. You bet. The Rich Eisen Show weekdays at noon Eastern. On audience.